Hello, everyone. We want to thank you for spending your time with us. We would like to introduce the actors of the new feature film Bag Dread, directed by Cristiano Evans and Roberto Russo, an IMATIC Films production. We want you to get to know the actors more and learn more about the film in the process. So, without any further ado, we present to you an interview with Lucia Caparasso. What character did you play in the film? Hi, I'm Lucia Caparasso. I play Olivia Bailey in Peggy Red. What sort of person is going to love this character? Well, something interesting I, I found out working on, on Olivia and preparing to play Olivia is that well, it's, I guess it's a something the actors sooner or later find out in, a, in their journey, which is no matter how your character can seem far away from you and very different, you always find something that you have in common, so you're more similar than you think, or somehow you have experienced something very similar in your life. But it's hard to admit because, well, you don't know yet, but uh, in the film, well, let's just say that you're going to find out something that it's pretty, it's pretty surprising. Um, I cannot tell anything, but um, as you could see from the, from the trailer, there's something quite mysterious that happens. Uh, they really cannot be guessed just by watching the, the trailer. And so, um, first of all, I think the audience will love to be surprised that much and um, as for the character I just hope you are going to by the end of the film you're going to love her as much as I as I now do. What attracted you to this film and character? When Chris talked to me about uh, Becky Red, I had already known him for about a year, so we had already worked together, so we really, really know, know, knew each other already quite well and trusted each other. Um, I, knew not, I knew nothing about the film, so I sent me the script, the first script, and I loved it. This was, I mean, totally unexpected, um, lots of twists and turns um, that I hope also that the audience is going to. Uh, enjoy. Um, and what I was probably most drawn to was the journey that I would have had to go through if I decided to play Olivia, um, which is nothing similar to anything I've worked or anything I've done before. So that was something that I found really appealing. And um, the possibility to explore something um, that apparently was quite um, far away from me. What should the audience expect out of this film? What I think the audience should expect for sure is um, to be surprised because um, there will be some twists and turns that will be for sure quite unexpected for whoever. Uh, that's how we felt at least when we read the script so I, I really hope you, you will feel the same. And um, I will. I would love to know how the the audience experiences the the change from the very beginning. We have this uh, at the beginning. We have this beautiful, um, lovely couple of newlyweds uh, in the most <laughs> beautiful place in the world in Sorrento, I mean, um, Amalfi Coast. So uh, what could go wrong? Um, and instead, there will be um, plenty of, of surprises. How was your experience in Italy and London? Okay, the first thing I think um, when asked what was what it was like to shoot in, in Sorrento, the first thing I, I can think about is um, the day we shot um, in the car, uh, the director had chosen a, a red vintage Alfa Romeo, beautiful, and um, Louis, who plays Jack, had to drive, but Louis is British. So uh, I had not thought until that moment that he was supposed to be driving on what for him is at the wrong side of the street and on the wrong side of the car. So once I, real I realized that he, he was supposed to drive like in the middle of the traffic, uh, I was like, 
paralyzed, like, oh my god, how are we going to do this? And instead he, he did that brilliantly and uh, made it seem so easy. <laughs> I've never been able to do that, honestly. And we had these two cameras, one on, on him and one on me, uh, on the windshield. Uh, with another camera ahead of us, driving, uh, with the director filming. Oh my god, it was, it's been extremely funny, but also um, they did a huge, huge work, both Roberto and, and Chris. And another thing that I loved about shooting in Sorrento was the long talk I had with CJ, who plays um, Jack's mother, my mother-in-law, and with Louis, who plays Jack, um, because we really talked and went through um, the, the scenes very deeply talking about over and over about what we thought were our, our character's intentions and, th and so we really, um, I love, I mean it was extremely easy to work with, with both of them um, at a certain depth, you know, to go um, to look into and examine deeply every every scene and I, I think I'd never um, it never happened to me to have such a beautiful relationship with um, with the two actors, and I loved I loved that experience. As for what we shot in London, we had some very beautiful and romantic scenes on some bridges, which I hope will not be cut, and you will be able to to watch soon. Um, and there are also the scenes where I have <laughs> met for the first time my father and mother, Alice, and. Um, Simon, who plays my father, and I have a lot of time spent with them too. Uh, two lovely, lovely people and, and lovely actors to play with. What was the most challenging experience with your role? What was challenging for me um, was to, well, considering that I cannot tell you anything, so I have to be very careful to what I say because um, I don't want to disclose absolutely anything basically was having a deeper understanding of what happened to Lydia so building her past her her, her childhood ever ever since her childhood basically yeah. I always build a biography of the character very detailed biography so that I can justify and understand uh, on a deeper uh, level what happened to to my character and it you will find out that mm, what what happens throughout the film made it not easy for me to understand how you get to that point um, and I had long conversation long conversation with with Chris about it I would call him and tell him at night and we stayed hours on the phone until I had um, understood every every single thing and taking notes about about Olivia just to make sure you know that I uh, really could arrive prepared on set knowing everything I needed on on Olivia and the way he had imagined her as well why did you become an actor and who inspires you I became an actor because basically I fell in love um, with cinema when I was 12, about 12, 13, and I was kind of really deeply struck on a deeper level and I could not help. And ever since that moment I have never doubted to be an actor anymore. Um, I could not simply imagine I would, I, was, I, would, I would do anything else in my, in my life but being an actor. Mm, especially because my whole life, ever since I was a child, um, I have always felt like my being emotional, extremely emotional, uh, and sensitivity was kind of always inappropriate at other place, uh, unless I was on a stage, and even more so in front of a camera, in front of a camera where I feel I can be as emotional as I want, and I can be can be as honest with what I feel as as possible. Um, and in, instead, as for who is my inspiration, that's quite, wow, that's a, a tough question. Um, at this very moment, 
my inspiration is my spiritual guide, whose name I will never tell. <laughs> and um, in general, I am inspired by people who fulfill their dreams without giving up. No matter how uh, the journey can be tough or difficult or how many people may tell you that's never gonna happen. You still, um, you still keep believing and keep working hard to, uh, in order to fulfill that dream. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. Can't wait to see your role.